It's Georgia, Florida week. World's largest outdoor cocktail party. The biggest game of the year for the dogs. Two top ten teams match up for an Eastern Division crown. It is going to be a great one. Um, and I'm going to start breaking down the keys to victory for my Georgia Bulldogs. As we all know, Georgia's identity is to run the football, which is a which to me is going to be a big key. They also need to win on first and second downs. Um, and the reason why they need to, to run the football well as well, you know, uh, from Georgia's record in the last three years when their quarterback Jake Fromm has to throw thirty or more times. We don't have um, elite receivers yet. Um, that can create space and win one-on-one matchups. So we need to be able to run the football and create pressure in the front seven for Florida to so we can run and then maybe that can open up the pass. Um, with that being said, you need to have uh, it's gonna be a little tough, tougher. You know, you got first rounder Zaniga. For Florida, coming back, that's huge for them. Who's not only a pass rusher defensive end, he's also, he's a run stuffer. He's very good. It's going to be difficult. Um, it's going to be a challenge for offensive line. You know, Todd Grantham, he brings like seven guys um, acting like they're going to blitz, but he drops back three or four or two, and you don't know which ones are going to blitz. So it's going to be tough pass blocking them, but... Um, hopefully they'll get the job done. Um, good thing is Solomon Kinley is fully back healthy. Hopefully he'll play all four quarters well. They need him to win him and Thomas are in the lineup. Especially you saw that in the second half. They ran the ball very well. Um, I think one of the struggles for Georgia's O-line this year is that they've been subbing in and out. I mean, you had Cade Mays, who's had... He's been playing different positions at each week. I mean, he's played every position except for center this year. I mean, literally, I mean, he plays two positions a, a game, subbing in and out, which is tough for an offensive lineman to gain a rhythm. So Georgia needs to stick to five. They need to stick to Thomas. They need to stick to Kinley. They need to stick to Trey Hill, Ben Cleveland, and Isaiah Wilson. And they need to do well. Or else they can't win. Um, they also, Lawrence Cager, who's coming back, needs to be big. He's basically Jake Fromm's pacifier with the um, back shoulder throw, throws out in the corner, out in the outside. Jake Fromm loves the outside throws. So that neat, uh, Cager, and he's the guy for it. He needs to be big to help out us loosen it up and also run the football well. Um, with all that being said, um, if Georgia does all that, they run the football well, you know, gain on first and second downs, Cager does well, you know, winning the field position is huge, which we have not done the last two games, except for the second half of the Kentucky game. Um, with all that being said, I do believe that will be a jo advantage to Georgia, but it's going to come down if both teams play well it's going to come down to who doesn't make the big mistake who's that team that's going to make that 15 yard penalty that is a drive killer who's going to be the one who has a holding call on a 15 yard run that's going to um back them up in another drive killer who's going to turn over the football that's going to be a big who's going to shank a punt those all those factors are going to determine who's going to win. Um, if Georgia, you know, runs the football well, passes the ball well, but they have a shank punt and give uh, Florida a really good field position, and they capitalize on it, Georgia ain't going to win. It's going to be both teams have to play well, and obviously, and if there is a mistake, you have to capitalize on it. You know, a turnover here and there that is going to be. It's going to be a game that's going to be decided by two or three plays. Um, and if Georgia limits the mistakes 
wins the turnover battle, then we'll win the turnover battle, win the field position battle, and run the ball effectively, the dogs will be on top. That's all I have to say. I just want to say it. It is the biggest game of the year, always is, but especially more when there's a championship involved in it. And uh, I just want to say, woo, go, no!